Hello beautiful people, welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time to be here, where have you been? Anyway, today I'm so excited to host one of the amazing, amazing personas. So today, and on this specific video, we are going into details on communication disorders. I said we'll be doing more videos and more videos on communication difficulties. And so also this video we are doing, we are talking about communication difficulties. And to be specific, we want to talk about stammering. I know you know a person who stammers. I know you know a child who is struggling with stammering. So today we are going to talk everything about stammering. So if you have your questions, put them down somewhere so that you can ask them at the end of the video in the comment section. So today, guys, just help me welcome Mr. Asaf. Thank you, Rida. I'm happy to be here and to be with you to talk about the stammering. A stammering and stuttering, they are used interchangeably. So when someone talks about the stammering, mm -hmm. they say mean about this. Oh, okay. So there are those who will say stutter, that will be yes, stammering. stammering. Yeah, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. I think stuttering is more in Britain, stammering mm -hmm. is more in America. Oh, okay. At home okay. in the same thing. How about in Kenya? Because like it's stammering. Ken People say stammering. Yeah, stammering. Okay. Yes. Okay. So what do, we start, what do we stick with? We stick with stammering. Stammering. Yes, because Good. that's what Kenyans, as Kenyans, Good. so used to. Yes. Yes. Good. So what is stammering? Tell us. Mm -hmm. There's someone. Oh, okay. We need to know what is stammering yeah. or. Yeah. Stammering mm -hmm. in itself is a speech disorder. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a language disorder. Okay. It's purely a speech disorder mm -hmm. which affects the fluency. Okay. Of the flow of how you speak. How smooth do you talk? Or how smooth do you speak? Do you have some bump? Do you have some uh, blocks? Do you have some repetition? Uh, which I'm going to expound further. Because when you talk about the stammering, it's how smooth you speak. Uh, and then uh, to interject, eh? the, is there people who maybe d does not have friends in speaking, but you can't see the half stammer? They are not stammering. This is what we call normal disfluency. Okay. Yes, but we are also going to look at what makes someone to have a normal disfluency and what makes someone to have a stammering disfluency. Because you can have a normal disfluency. In day-to-day -day life, people have their disfluencies. And people also stutter. Yes. But this, if you, start, if you have disfluency more than six months, then... We can call it stutter. It also, it also matters on which situation. Because it also varies on the situation, it also varies on the how long have you been stammering or stuttering. But we have what we call normal disfluences which happen in the course of your life. Okay, yes. okay. okay. So now when it's, it's more than six months, yes. we call now that one stammering. And it also has some characteristics which we are now we, uh, we have to talk about it. Okay. Yes. And do you know that you have told us what is stammering? Could you like kindly take yes. us to what are the characteristics okay. of stammering? The main three characteristics of stammering mm -hmm. is what we call prolongation. And prolongation is the stretching or you stress the sound in a word longer than expected or longer than normal. So if I say my name is Tom and I say my name is Tom so you have stressed the toe more than expected. Yeah. So that's what we call prolongation. And you hear people saying, mm, my name. Mm -hmm. So that is a part of the prolongation. And people prolong maybe a syllable or a sound in a word. There are those who even, can, maybe in a sentence, there are those who prolong maybe a, a word in a sentence. Uh, you cannot prolong a word. You can only prolong a sound. Okay. Yes. It's a sound in that word which you. You pick and then you prolong. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Another we another characteristic, I mean characteristic is what we call repetition. Okay. And here is when you re, you repeat a part of a word, like a sound or a syllable. But like when I say my name is Tom, I say Tom. So now that is repetition. So you can get someone who is repeating a sound, a individual sound or a syllable in a word. The other one is called block. A block is when you want to speak, 
but it's like the sound is not coming out. There's something which is making you not to bring the sound out. Like I can say, if I want to say my name is Tom, and I say my name is Tom. You take time before the word yes. Tom comes out. Yeah, it's like you are making more physical effort to bring that specific sound t to say Tom. Yes. That's what we call a bro. Just the way it means block, you get a block, so you cannot go through, you cannot finish what you want to say. Mm. Yes. And this mm. block can come before the word, in between, in the mid of the word, or toward the end of the word. Okay. So I can say banana, I can say banana. I can start to say banana, I say banana. No. Mm. Okay. Yes. So that's what we call a blow. And then there is also, there are some other now characteristics which now make, when we assess a child we, now, or an adult, we say that now this child is really stammering. Uh, we have a psychological problem, which, because the stammering, the disfluency is what you can see. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But that's what you cannot see. Mm -hmm. uh, there's fear. Okay. There's a frustration. Mm -hmm. And then there is also avoidance. Okay. Avoidance can come, someone is avoiding any speaking situation. So Asaf, what you're trying to tell us is that uh, there are also characteristics that we can't see, like you, fear. You, the listener, won't see it. Okay. But, but the person who starts to go through things. We, we call it an iceberg. You see, when we talk about an iceberg, you can see the ice yeah. at the top. Yeah. But can you see what is below the ice? No. Yes. Okay. And, th and that is what now is major because okay. the, the listener will hear those repetitions, mm. will hear the prolongation, you hear mm. there, mm. they will hear the blocks, mm. they will see the tension mm. also, mm. grimace, the tension of the face. They, uh, the listener will be able to see the facial grimaces, you see the tension, you see that the speaker is making an effort to make a sound. Uh, there are some people who will see that, that they are patting their laps there. Stamping their feet. They, are they like tamping, trying to? They are like trying to, to struggle. They are like struggling to make a sound. Okay. They are struggling to speak. Mm -hmm. Yes. But a normal disfluency, you won't see those kind of uh, behaviors. Mm. Because we call them secondary behaviors. Mm. Because what you people see is what we call primary behaviors. Mm. But what cannot be seen and go through the person who's stammer is called the secondary behaviors. Mm. Another thing is there, uh, what I was saying is the avoidance. So you may avoid speaking situation. You go to a place and then you are told, maybe it's a family, and you are then you are told to introduce yourself. See, mm -hmm. and you excuse yourself. Mm -hmm. A child may be asked to read a book in front of class. the class, and maybe they come up with an escape that I want to go so so I want to go poop. Yes, I'm having a headache, but it's not that they cannot, they are not able to read but mm. they are losing an escape. They are trying to avoid that situation which demand to speak. Okay. Yeah, sometimes mm. you can see a person who is trying to avoid some words. So if I was to say something like, uh, I, I was saying something, a chair, I'll say that I want that red chair, then I'll say, give me that thing for sitting. So because I know the sound ch will get stuck, so I switch that word, or I change that word here to another word which I You look for fluent. options that are... I look for options, mm, yes. To describe the word. Yes. So w what makes people stammer? The cause of stammering is still under more research, but we have theories. Uh, the first theory is genetic. The genetic, that means that it can run in families. So this, and you see some twins, relatives, stammering from the same family. Uh, that one has a lot, enough evidence that genetic can also be a cause, it can be passed to other offsprings. Another thing is what we call psychogenic cause. Psychogenic cause is when a child goes through a traumatic uh, experience of what we call trauma, psychological trauma, and they may have this frenzy. And this is major when a child goes through a psychological trauma, or even you, you may go through a psychological trauma, and you start to start up. Or, or to stammer. But the other thing is what we call neuro neurogenic, because we know that our body has brain, 
the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. Anything can happen. I can have an accident. I can have maybe a traumatic brain damage or traumatic brain injury, which can also result in stammering. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, so when it comes to stammering in children and in handouts, eh? yes. we have children with stammers. Yes. And we have handouts with st yes. stammers. Yes. So would you maybe, do you have a pre uh, the preference of, let's say, there are more children who stammer than adults, or there are more adults who stammer than children? Uh, what happened here? Children, when a child is learning how to speak, how to form sounds to make to make words, they have what we call normal dysfluency or what we call developmental dysfluency. So we only say that a child is at is at risk to stutter when they stutter beyond four years or three and a half years. In America, they say that in three and a half years, there are some research that say above four years, mm -hmm. but below that age, we always give respite and see. So if a child is below three years, let's wait and maybe see. Yes, maybe it's what you call normal no. fluency because they are learning how to speak. They are learning how to join the south. Yes. And, and, and now we have the handouts. Yes. Now for handouts on uh, stammering because yeah. in, our, in our African culture, yeah. I think stammering is one area that is, it is, it is less of we don't mind or less than it's the problem of the one who is speaking, yes. or it's the, connected with this one doesn't know how to speak. Uh, on this video, as we wind up, what would you like say about and to stammer? They are there, uh, and they are many. I've found quite of them, especially yes. I've found some uh, conductors. I know of a specific conductor I've seen for the longest time who still stammers. Do you still feel like there's need for them to get an option? Yeah, because... To get help, that's what they I are, meant. Yeah, mean in Kenya, because at the start, which were done by Kochu. Mm -hmm. It is, I'm glad to say Kochu, because Kochu was my lecturer back in 1997, when mm -hmm. I was doing my undergraduate. Mm -hmm. They did a search, and they found that in Kenya, uh, that is in 2004, mm -hmm. and Kenya we had about 400,000 mm -hmm. adults. What, back who, then? Yes, who stammer. So the, the number has increased. The number has increased, and the, because of the awareness has increased, so we expect more number, even double of that. Number. Do you think that we need to do more awareness on stammering? We need to do more awareness. And do you think we have done less awareness? Is okay. What may happen because it's something which cannot be seen. Okay. Uh, and it's not painful in court. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it has what we call painless pain to the people who stutter. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right, thanks for being on this segment. We truly, truly appreciate. My viewers, ask questions. Asaf will answer the questions. You have earned everything that you needed to stammering. We'll still do another video on stammering to know now what are we supposed to do now we know what is stammering. So make sure you ask as many questions as you can. And <coughs> make sure you share these videos with everybody you know. Yes, everybody you know. Stammering can be helped. There is a help somewhere. And we need also to create more awareness on stammering. Is that okay? Thank you for watching. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.